All right, guys. Today I'm going to show you guys how to actually edit the Milky Way. So there's way too many YouTubers out there that aren't revealing their secrets unless you pay for their premium content. So I see so many channels that have like 10 minute video, 10 minute videos that basically teach how to move around these Lightroom sliders, such as like you know increase the temperature, increase the tint, um, you know increase the exposure, bump up the contrast, you know. That, Shadows, highlights, you know, white, decrease the blacks and bump up the clarity. Basically stuff like this, you know, you get a pretty decent result, but it's not anywhere close to, you know, those Milky Way photos you see on Instagram. So this is what I came up with. These are the two photos side by side. As you can see, the photo on the left looks a lot more deep than the photo on the right. The photo on the right is pretty good, but I just feel like there can be so many more improvements done. And today I'll be showing you guys how to make the photo on the left. Alright, let's not waste any time. Let's just jump into Photoshop. So as you can see, this is my base image. I already stacked it. You can use a single image. You can stack it using Secretor or whatever Im image stacking software you want to use. It doesn't really matter for this case. If you want less noise and if you want to print out your Milky Way photos, I would recommend checking out stacking. I'll probably make a video on that in the future if people are interested. But it's pretty easy if you guys want to know it now. There's so many tutorials on YouTube that teach you guys how to do that. Anyway, so back to the Milky Way. So the first thing I like to do is make two sets of curve. One is for contrast and one is to change the color. So the first one we're going to be using just a normal curve. We're going to press this hand tool and we're going to select a dark spot and then lower it drag it down so right about there looks good and then we're going to select a, uh, a bright spot and we're going to drag it up so this creates the S curve a standard S curve but it adds so much more dimension to the Milky Way the next thing I want to add another curve instead of dealing with this I want to go to red, okay? So we're going to be looking into specific colors here. So from this, we can adjust the colors. So let's say I want to add some red to the highlights, right? So I can do that just by going like, but as you can see, it adds so much red to the entire image. And we can anchor this point down. So we can make an S curve here too. We can add another anchor point just to make sure it move too much so you can as you can see we're adding some blue to the sky and adding some red to the highlight right so before see how much more color there is and then we can also do the same thing with blue you know if you want some blue more blue in the shadows so you can add, have that so i actually don't like this yellowish color so i'm just going to try to flatten You can mess around with the green if you want. The next thing you can do, if you don't feel like it's saturated enough, you can create a vibrance layer. Increase the saturation by a little bit. Maybe like 8. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, and that's good, right? So the next step, we're going to be adding some enhancements to the Milky Way. This is the way I like to add enhancements. I first create a new layer, so I like to name it like light or something. And I like to select one of the brightest points in the Milky Way. So I use the eye dropper tool. I select this orangey color. I guess it's red. I'm gonna, I like it a little bit orange. Change my blend mode to overlay. Brush. Use the low flow. Like I would use maybe like, let's use 8 here. And then you, all you want to do is paint over the bright spot. Here, to make your brush bigger. Make sure you're using a soft brush. 0% hardness. You can paint here, you can paint here. Um, you, can, you can take like an hour on this if you want to. You can get into like the small areas, you know, paint light in. You know, you can do this really detailed. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to keep it short. So you can paint in between these black lines. So for these areas that are more purple or blue, just select that, make it brighter. Same thing, paint over it. 
Same thing with here, it's like pinkish, you know. You get a little bit brighter. Paint over. Good. This area again. Alright, so I'm just gonna do it roughly. Make this. Alright, so see the before, how much more it glows, right? So we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna add some black areas to the core, right? So I'm gonna create another new layer. I can say dark. I'm gonna use you can use the you can do the same thing, eyedropper tool, you know, get this grayish color. I personally like to use black. Okay, so change it to overlay again. I like to use like maybe a smaller flow. And all you want to do is just brush over these dark areas. Make them darker than before. Right, so see how there's like lines over here. I don't know if you can see it on my monitor, but they're very faint. Brush over them. So that's why it's important using a low flow. Even a flow at 5% can make the image a little bit too unnatural. I'm going to speed the video up to try to keep it under 10 minutes, but you can take as long as you want filling in these dark spots. All right, guys, and that's the final image. So we take a look at the before. That's how it looks like after. Look at how much more contrast we have. So I can do it layer by layer too, right? So this is the curves, color curves, saturation, light enhancements, dark enhancements. All right, guys, that's about it. Pretty simple, right? So if you guys like this video, remember to smash that like button and subscribe. If you guys want to see any more content, just let me know. I'll probably make a video on it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.